Hello YouTube. It is uh, around 5 o'clock now, 5 p.m. A little bit later. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to make a Japanese curry rice, bushcraft style. My girlfriend has already prepared the vegetables, green onion, potato and uh, carrots and on and regular onion and what I'm going to do now is make the sushi rice in my Dutch oven so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take about two of these I think of sushi rice or japonica rice like this and I'm gonna uh, clean the rice with water I'm gonna add water I'm just gonna wash this rice Just knead it gently. And I'm gonna pour this water out and let this rice sit for around 20 minutes to let it suck up the moisture. All right, what we're going to do now is take the chicken breast, which I have cut into uh, thin slices. I'm going to put it into um, regular flour, all-purpose flour, and then I'm going to put it into the egg. I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to turn this around. Turn this around, and because. I don't really have that much space. I'm going to put them here. And now, I'm going to get rid of the flour. And I'm going to take the panko, which is breadcrumbs. I'm gonna roll these into the breadcrumbs. Like so. And this will be our topping of the rice. I can't actually wait the whole All right. 20 minutes because it's already getting dark and we have to cook. So I'm going to fill water to the rice and I want it to be like this amount above the rice. So one finger tip so the water level will be like this alright, I'm gonna put this on the fire and hope it doesn't go too, uh, too hard alright, so the rice is cooking and every few minutes just turn the Dutch oven so the heat because there's coming more heat from the side than from the bottom. I'm just turning this so uh, the rice gets evenly cooked. It has been cooking very nicely. And we're gonna let it sit here for another 10 minutes or so, or 5 minutes, whatever.
we'll see. I'm gonna cook the rest because it's getting dark. But I gotta take a sneak peek on this. On this rice. Oh, look at it. Looks perfect. Oh man, that's good. That worked out pretty good on the on the on the fire. Not regulating the heat or anything. Hmm. 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 Oh, that's good. This Japanese rice has uh, a better taste, in my opinion, than the, than the hard, regular kind of rice we have here. So I really like this sticky, kind of sticky. Japanese rice, which you can eat with sticks, with chopsticks. My girlfriend is preparing the curry. Look at it. The chicken and the skillet is frying. Oh man, I can't wait. It's kind of hard to uh, regulate the heat in the pan because putting new coals on the, on the there and one side is hotter than the other side, so this one is almost burnt while this side is still almost white. So yeah, it's a pretty tough job. But uh, who cares, this is a bushcraft. Hmm, it's gonna be a thin curry, but it will be very tasty. So, this is the end result. Japanese curry rice with panko chicken or um, yeah and this is a very rich bushcraft meal if you ask me and what I really like about the cast iron um, the cast iron Dutch oven is that it really keeps the rice warm for a long time so you don't have to to hurry so let's taste this nice I'm gonna dip it in the, the sauce some oh. Mm. oh this is this is the best bushcraft meal that I have ever had. Mm. Some green onions on top. I'm gonna show you this very tasty with vegetables. Mm. Very good. This is so good. Yeah, this concludes our evening. I'm gonna drink a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, then we're gonna tuck in. There's my Phoenix uh, CL15, I think it's called, and my Phoenix P35 on low. Very good lights and very cozy with the fire. Alright, thank you for watching.